Hi guys, welcome back to another Hugh Jeffries video. In this video, I'll be fixing this Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, which is currently Samsung's latest A-series tablet. It certainly didn't take long for this one to end up listed as parts on eBay. The glass is shattered with the LCD flickering beneath. There's also a large dent on the top right corner with a noticeable bend on the same side. Brand new, this model is retailing for 530 Australian dollars. I purchased this one broken for just 45. Once repaired, I think we'll have scored ourselves a real deal on this tablet. Despite all the damage, when plugged in, the device still powers on and appears to be somewhat functional, as I entered some kind of camera mode. Like most tablets, we need to enter through the glued-in screen, so over to the heat plate it is. After being thoroughly heated, I can begin opening the Tab A8. Given the severity of the damage, a suction cup didn't attach to the display very well. Thankfully, the glue holding in the display is quite weak, so it lifted right up. I'll insert a pick and work my way around the perimeter, freeing the screen from the frame. The more damaged the screen is, the harder it is to complete this step. This is because you have to loosen each glass shard rather than pulling up the whole screen as one assembly. You may have also noticed I'm doing all this with the tablet still powered on. That's because I can't switch it off without a functional display. While lifting up the screen, I'll need to be careful of the flex cable below attaching it to the motherboard. I'll remove its retaining bracket and firstly disconnect the battery to remove all power to the device before unplugging the screen. Before we can even think about fitting a new screen, we need to remove the remainder of the glass from the old one. Usually this is the most painful step in tablet repair, but as I mentioned earlier, this adhesive is really weak. So most of it just peels up and takes the glass with it. Now when I say the adhesive is weak, that's a compliment. It's clearly strong enough to hold the screen on, but fairly easy to remove. The complete contrast to the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 I repaired a few years ago. Internally, the majority of this tablet is taken up by the battery, four speakers, and motherboard. One small detail I noticed was the inclusion of two light sensors. I assume one is for when you hold the device portrait, and the other when you hold it horizontal. But if we're going to fix this tablet, we'll need some new parts. I purchased a new display and adhesive for around $70. Being a Samsung A-series tablet, they're not only cheaper than the flagship line to buy, but it's also cheaper to fix, and that's thanks to it using an LCD display rather than an OLED. Unfortunately, the LCD is still fused to the glass, so you have to replace both even if the LCD still works, which can make it more expensive than it needs to be. I'll need to transfer the old display flex cable over to the new screen so we can test the tablet. I'll go ahead and loosely connect the display and battery as we need to test both the tablet and the new display to make sure they work before we reassemble everything. Pressing the power button, you can see it light up. It boots straight to the setup screen, which is kind of odd as most people who damage their devices don't reset them, but it certainly makes it easier for me. In settings, we can confirm this is a Galaxy Tab A8 64GB running Android 11. With everything working, it's almost time to get the display attached, but before we do, I need to get the bend out of the tablet. Aluminium is pretty soft and malleable, so I can just use my hands to straighten it out. I got it pretty close. It's now time to get the new adhesive attached. After aligning it with the frame, I can press it down with the spudger. Proceeding, I can remove the top layer of plastic ready for the screen to be installed. On the display side, there's some more plastic to remove. It's important to always check beforehand as you don't want the glue attaching to the plastic film and not the actual screen. If you do, the screen will likely come out of the device. I'll get the display and battery reattached to perform one last test before we seal everything up.
With everything looking good, I'll give the insides a quick clean out before removing the remaining plastic film on the adhesive and pressing the new display into position. With it in place, it's time to flip over the tablet and give it a quick wipe down to remove any gunk and sticker residue. It's always a wise decision to clean everything you buy second hand as you don't know where it's been or what grimes are hiding on it. With that, it's time to remove the plastic protective film from our newly installed display. And we're done. So this is it, our new the restored Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, costing a grand total of $115.60 over $400 less than if I'd purchased one from Samsung directly. Buying broken and fixing something can prove cost effective and provide you with that awesome feeling of fixing something and keeping it from becoming waste. Of course, it'd be easier if the device opened using screws, but for a tablet, it's one of the easiest ones I've fixed to date. And on that note, this has been a huge Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the tablet playlist for more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.